Hi, Jerry Sell here with Forest River's Rogue Armored Model 351G2 Luxury Toy Hauler. And because it is a toy hauler, we're starting in the back where the toys are going to go. I'm standing on the ramp door, which is now set up as a patio, which comes standard with the armored, the uh, patio system. You um, have a little door here to go up and down, optional aluminum steps that fold away. Um, so now you've got a uh, great patio system that uh, you can use as a, as a back porch. And as, as I walk into the actual garage of the 351, there are three features that we have on this product that I think no one else has in combination. Um, first of all, you have a 13-foot garage from the back all the way forward, so it'll fit pretty much any standard four-seater side-by-side. Um, and then, really after that, the next thing is, is we've developed a new bed system, which is so much more convenient than uh, the power systems that are out there on the market. And, and we basically call it the quick set bed system. As you know, with the power systems, it's a chain drive. So you have to push a button. Um, what that means is the, the seats have to be down, then you push a button and the seats go up and that loosens the top bunk and then the bunk comes down and it takes time. So what we've come up with is a quick, easy, efficient system to make the bed. And that's where the quick set comes from. Um, in the morning or when you want to put it away, all I have to do is give it a push here. You'll see there are four 60 pound struts that actually do the work for you. Give it a push and we're good to go. So it, it did away with the motors and it did away with the, the, the frustration of having to put everything up and down. It works very, very simply. The second thing that we've done in the 351 is our overhead bunk system, the loft that pretty much every toy hauler has. As you know, there's a couple things that we've done differently. Um, this is the loft when it's folded up. If I pull this down, you'll see this is where the bed will be. There's actually a mattress up here. I can tap on it. We actually have plywood built in to the mattress. So when you flip it down, no one's going to fall through the holes. Um, so the nice thing about this is, and of course the ladder, the hooks on either end, whichever way you want your head to be. Um, what's great about this is, is a lot of people, really it's dead space. They, they use it for storage. Um, they may not need it for sleeping, but if you do need it, you can put it down. The nice thing is, is, is uh, to, to travel, if you've got a UTV with a big light bar or a golf cart that's tall, now you've got all this extra space to pull your UTV in. So it's much more convenient. Another nice thing that I like as a camper with a family is you access this bed from back here. So many toy haulers, the access to the loft bed is actually here from the living area. So if I want to put my kids to bed and stay up and watch TV, what's going to happen? Well, my kids are going to be peeping out watching TV right along with me. <clears throat> now, the third of the three things that I think we have that are exclusive is the half bath. Uh, many, many toy haulers have half bath systems in here. What we've done is gone one step farther. And as you can see, this bath is fully enclosed. And what we've done is we've added a shower. So now you have the half bath, but you have the opportunity now to have this as a shower. If you come in and you're filthy from riding all day, you can clean up before you go in. Or your friends or neighbors are coming along camping. They don't necessarily have to use your bathroom. And you know, I'm a pretty big guy here. There's plenty of room to take a shower. So it's a great feature. We have it. I don't know of anybody else in the industry that actually has this bath system we have. So as we move into the living area of the 351, I just want to point out our uh, glass door. This is actually a vapor barrier door. So it shuts, it's nice and quiet. You can actually hear how much less you can hear me. Um, it's uh, great, keeps all the vapor out but it's a nice wide door too. So, you know, a lot of manufacturers have those skinny doors back here. We're giving you a nice big opening uh, that brings you into our living area. And of course, as you come into the living area, the first thing you notice is, is we have opposing slides. So it's a nice big space where you get the full kitchen area and then your uh, uh, four seat uh, living room. In the kitchen, obviously the first thing you notice is the big refrigerator. This is actually a 16 cubic foot 12 volt refrigerator. So what's nice about that is, is you know it runs off your battery, you don't need to be using propane. And because we basically have an onboard solar system, um, you're gonna get 
a, a refrigerator that can work all the time. Uh, even going down the road when you're not even supposed to have propane on, now you know your refrigerator is going to work on battery. But folks, I want to say this, as you know, there's been supply chain issues throughout this past year. This is the refrigerator we want to use. However, it could look different than this as with supply chain, we basically are putting in what we can get as long as it's a 12 volt refrigerator. Just know that it could have three doors, it could have two doors, it could have four doors. It's the state of the industry right now in 2022. Now, if we're gonna have a nice residential style refrigerator, we should give you a nice residential style microwave. So you can see it's a full size 30 inch microwave as opposed to the smaller ones that you see in most RVs. You've got your three burner cooktop with an oven and then a really huge storage compartment down here for your pots and pans and this type of thing. You know, storage is always a premium in a, an RV. So you can see if you look around, we've given you a lot of actual storage space. You've got cabinet doors here, cabinet doors here. Under the sink, we have three drawers. You've got the big one there. And then you've got a bank of one, two, three, four, five, six doors over with the pantry and over the TV. The Rogue Armored has uh, solid surface counters, which is nice for food preparation. And uh, you know you can put something hot down on it. It's not gonna uh, burn or crumble. Also, with electronics today, everybody's plugging in everywhere. So you'll notice that we give you a lot of outlets. We give you a lot of USB ports. There's always a place to be charging your phones or your uh, tablets or whatever you have. We've given you this nice raised shelf so that you can do things like your coffee maker or these types of things up out of the way, which is really nice. Um, a uh, big black stainless sink. You've got one big sink here, so he won't have any trouble doing the dishes. And sink covers, I'm showing one here. The other one is stored uh, underneath the sink. While I'm at the sink, I, I may as well talk a little bit about our holding tank sizes. Uh, the Rogue Armored, we advertise 150 gallon freshwater capacity. It's actually two 78 gallon tanks. You actually have uh, 156 gallons of freshwater total, which is a lot. So if, once again, if you're gonna go out dry camping, you're gonna be off grid, you've got a lot of water. So to complement that, you're gonna have a 40 gallon black tank for the toilet and a 50 gallon gray tank for the shower. The kitchen area has its own 50 gallon gray tank and then the bath that's in the back has one black tank as 40 gallons because you have a toilet, the shower, everything. Because there's a toilet, it has to go into a black tank. So you've got a 40 gallon tank back there as well. The living area in the 351 G2 uh, includes a large flat screen TV. You have a fireplace. Your stereo system, this is a Bluetooth system. There's not even a remote. You're actually gonna use your phone to run this. So you can run your movies, you can run your songs, everything you want right through the stereo system here. Uh, the sofa is a four seater recliner. Each one reclines and the end units actually have heat and massage. And we have some pretty blue lights here I can actually turn on for some mood lighting. Our shades, are kind of unique. This is called a zebra shade. So you can see they're, they're shut right now so we can keep the sun out. But uh, I'll tell you what, I'll use this one right here. Um, so you can see it's a zebra shade. So what happens is right now you've got full blockage. Um, I can, you know, I can pull it up so you can see out or we can take it part way. Let's do it down here like this, part way like that. So you have some light through, but you also have privacy. They're really cool. The bath in the 351 G2 includes a spa shower, which is really cool. So you've got your shower, you've also got a handheld and some other nozzles. You can just clean everything at once. You get a nice vanity sink area where there's actually room to put your toothbrush holder and those types of things. Your cabinet above, cabinet below, and a porcelain foot flush toilet. The front bedroom in the 351 is really what sells this coach because instead of having the, the what we call the north-south bed or the bed off the front, we've actually put the king bed in the slide. So you get this really nice big king bed. Um, another nice feature is we actually have a, an electric uh, lift system here. So you can see right now the mattress is up. So I can have it up to watch TV or read in bed or whatever. All we have to do is push this button and the uh, bed will come down flat for sleeping. The nice thing is, is, is too, during the daytime, if I pull this up, I've got the bed back, there's a lot more room to walk around. So you've got a nice big uh, uh, living area up here. And of course, because we put the bed on the side, you get this massive front storage. Because we also put the washer dryer in the back, you don't have that lost space here. So you've actually got 
all hanging space. You've got shelves, you've got shoe storage, whatever you need. You also have a, a four drawer dresser area here. And we give you this, I'm gonna open this just a little bit, a really nice big window to let all the light in. So it really has a nice big open feel to it. The Rogue Armored has a unique air conditioning system, uh, which we call the Super H duct. And what that means is, as opposed to standard fifth wheels generally have a air conditioner in the living area and then a second air conditioner in the bedroom. So what we've done instead is we have an air conditioner in the bedroom and then we have our second air conditioner back in the garage and the duct work is all connected. So when you have the, the dump valves closed, as you can see here, I have it open, um, and as, as with any ducting system, when there's resistance or, or air is gonna flow where it's the easiest. So if I open this up, air is just gonna flow down here easily. If I shut this, it basically forces the air through the ducts from the front of the coach and from the back of the coach. They meet in the middle and cool the living area. So what's nice is your living area stays nice and cool, but it doesn't have the noise of the air conditioners. So at night when you go to bed, where do you go? You go to the front to the bedroom or you go to the back to the beds in the garage. At that point, you can just open these up, blow the majority of the air here and in the front and in the back, and those areas will stay cool. The, the middle of the coach doesn't matter, nobody's gonna be sleeping there. So on the outside of the Rogue Armored, the first eight feet has so many features. In fact, a lot of them are the reason that I really believe you're gonna wanna purchase the Rogue Armored product. And we're gonna start right here with the chassis itself. We use a uh, PowerMax wide stance chassis. So you can see how far apart the legs are. What that means is because this trailer is 102 inches wide, we actually have a wider chassis with main rails spread apart. Uh, a lot of manufacturers to save money use a standard eight foot main rail for a regular travel trailer fifth wheel um, and then put bigger outriggers. We don't do that. We actually have a wider chassis so that you have better stability and you can see that how far apart the legs are so that means when you're when you're actually living in it it's going to be a much more stable product so along with that chassis system what we did is we did a drop frame or a little z frame here so what that does is that allows us to have this great big exterior storage compartment so not only do you get the full pass through across but you get this pass through storage all the way up here we even put tie downs in for you to uh, tie your stuff down so the real advantage here, not only do you get about 50% more ex in exterior storage, but what it allows us to do is drop this area down. So now you're going to have a battery compartment that'll hold up to eight batteries. So if you're really going to go off grid or you want to have room for extra batteries, uh, you could do six volt in series, you could do 12 volt. You've got all this room in here for the battery compartment. Um, also in this section, you're going to see things like the solar Controller is going to be in here um, and some other electronic equipment. So we've got room, so it's also easily accessible for you, the consumer, to work with this. Another great feature of the Rogue Armored product is our optional generator. So we're actually using an NPS inverter generator. And, and as a camper, what I like about this is uh, the fact that number one, it's inverter technology. What that means is, as opposed to a standard RV generator, uh, when, you, when you start or you push that button on, a, on an RV generator, uh, basically it runs 100% all the time. So you can have just a couple lights on and that generator is gonna be running 100%. The advantage of an inverter generator is that it will, it will work based on draw. So if you do only have a couple of lights on, it's gonna run low. You turn air conditioner on, it runs up a little bit more. You put two airs on, it'll run full power. So it's much more energy efficient and it basically gives you about 50% more uh, fuel availability this way. So what's a generator for guys? Obviously a generator is for power. So I'm gonna open this up here um, and ask you a real simple question. Well, what if you, your battery's dead and you don't have power? How are you gonna start your generator? The other brands on the market, you have to have a charged battery to push the button to start the generator to charge the battery. Well, that's not gonna work. So when we worked with NPS to develop this generator, one of the things we wanted was an opportunity to give you a way to start the generator without having to push the button. So every one of these generators comes with a good old fashioned pool start. You know you can always start this generator. 
So another nice feature about the generator is a key fob. You're, let's say you're out camping with all your buddies around the campfire, it's starting to get dark, and you think, hey, you know, we should run the generator a couple hours, juice things up before we go to bed. Um, all your friends are gonna get up from the campfire, walk inside, push that button. You're gonna come to this key fob, and we have it attached right here. This is where it comes from. You're gonna, you're gonna hit this key fob and just give this push and start it right up from the campfire. Really a cool feature. So the generator is something that we have that is basically a Forest River exclusive. You're only gonna find it on these Forest River toy haulers. Now, another thing that we're gonna talk about here is our uh, electric six point auto level system. Uh, we'll move around to the other side of the coach for that. So once again, as a camper, there's a feature on the Rogue Armored that I really think works, and that is our electric six point automatic leveling system. As you know, in the industry, there's also a hydraulic system. We use the electric system, and, and there's a couple reasons why I like it as a camper. Number one, the, the, the biggest one for me is with an electric system, what's great about it is, is each jack has its own individual motor. So we're up at the front of the coach right here, and you can see here, this is actually one of the landing gear jacks, and you can see right here is the individual motor. Well, let's say that somehow there is a problem with one of the jacks. Let's say it's the back jack, as, as an example. You're, um, you're getting ready to go home, and that back jack won't go up. Well, if you have a hydraulic system, the problem is, is you pretty much have to bleed the system to get that jack. If you can't do a, an override on the system, you're gonna have to bleed it. You're gonna have to make sure that, that you know, everything else is done with the hydraulics because you're gonna have to either cut the line or disconnect the line and bleed the system, which is a mess. The great thing about the electric system is that because we have an individual motor on each one, so if you look here, you can see there's a little rubber tab on the top. If I pull that tab up, Inside is the female end for a 3 8 inch socket set. You don't even need a socket, you just need the actual wrench itself. If you put that in there, you can literally just uh, uh, crank that thing right up. You can manually raise your jacks. So the great thing is, Sunday, four o'clock, you gotta get home, you're four hours from home, you gotta be at work in the morning. You know you can always get your jacks up with this electric system. And I gotta tell you one other thing, and I just learned this from uh, one of our dealers in North Dakota. I was asking him if he was going to put a unit in one of his shows, and he said, he asked me the question, do you use hydraulic or electric jacks? And I said, electric. He said, yes, I'll put it in then. And I said, well, why is that? He said, because the hydraulic fluid at a certain temperature level just doesn't work. But an electric jack will always work regardless of the temperature. So you guys that are up north, think about that when you're looking at what type of toy hauler you want to buy. Every Rogue Armored comes equipped with a 30-gallon fuel station standard. What that means is you're going to have a place to uh, fill up your 30-gallon tank at the gas station. You're going to have, a, obviously, a nozzle to fill up your motorcycle, your ATVs, your toys, or whatever. And then what we have here is a digital pump system. So to turn this on, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the off button and hold it for a second until the on button blinks. Now it's ready to go. So if I turn the pump on, you can actually hear the pump running. But this is the cool thing. When I turn the pump off, you'll hear a, ch a change in tone. What that's doing is that's actually pumping in reverse. It's actually sucking the gas back from the end of your nozzle back into the tank. And that's a new feature that you'll only get on the digital pump system. Every Rogue Armored comes with a tire pressure monitor system on it, which is great because it's not a cheap valve stem system. It's actually a band on the wheel itself that will sense the pressure of the tires. So the nice thing is, is you can plug this monitor up into your truck. You can always see what your pressure is. You know, your tires will tell you if they're gonna blow, if they're too high or too low. This gives you an opportunity to make sure that everything is good going down the road. Great peace of mind while pulling your trailer. So this is the 351 G2 Rogue Armored Luxury Toy Hauler, the lightest weight luxury toy hauler on the market. If you need more information, visit us at www.forestriverinc.com rogue.